Hey friends, <clears throat> welcome to um, our last week of school. Can you believe it? We are at the last week of school. Um, I'm excited for summer break, but I am sad that we don't get to be uh, together as much anymore, but hopefully um, I can do some updates and maybe uh, let you know what's going on throughout the summer, but um, I hope you guys have a great summer break as well. And of course, I will see you in the fall, which will be very exciting as well. Uh, today we are doing one of our last writing assignments, and this is something a little more fun today, but we're going to do it together so that uh, to kind of show you how it works and give you some ideas. And this is a welcome to second grade letter. So this is going to be you telling a new student, so this year's first graders that are going to be second graders next year, this is you writing a letter to them telling them how you felt about second grade when you got in, something you'd like to know about uh, the teachers, something um, about your favorite activities and literacy and math, um, uh, great memories you had and something that you might miss about second grade. So we're going to write this. So um, it isn't to one person in particular. Uh, it's to any um, person that uh, any student that might be coming into second grade next year. So um, we'll kind of go over who to address this to and we'll um, We'll do some uh, some work on that, okay? All right, I might be moving my face around a little bit just to help you out, but I've started with <clears throat> um, a word idea bank over here. So the first thing you'll see, it says, read it with me, welcome to second grade. All right, so we're welcoming someone new into second grade next year when they start. And you're gonna write, dear, now remember, this isn't to one person in particular, it's just to somebody that's coming in. So you could write, dear first grader, because they are coming from first grade into second grade. You should write, dear friend. You could write, dear new second grader, because they will be a new second grader. So there's um, a couple different things that you could do there. So I'm gonna write in my box, I'm gonna write, dear new second grader greater. Whoops, I need to make that a little bit bigger. Dear new second grader. All right, so that's the one I use. Now remember there are three different kinds that you can use here and you could think of one of your own as well. That's completely okay as also. All right, this one's an easy one. My name is well, I'm going to use my name, but you will use your name. So if your name is Samuel, if your name is um, Piper, if your name is uh, Ahmed, if your name is um, uh, Gabe, if your name is Audrey, if your name is Julian, if your name is Nicole, any, any, whatever your name is. So I'm gonna use my name. And remember, your name starts with a capital letter. And I think most of you know my first name, it's Jason but you call me Mr. Erickson, but I'm gonna write this like I am a second grader writing to a first grader. All right, the next section. When I started second grade, I was feeling. How were you feeling when you started second grade? This is a good question. There's a lot of words here you could use. Um, think about the mood meter. We've learned all about that throughout the year. You learned about it in kindergarten and first grade as well. Uh, there's lots of emotions that you might be feeling. Some that I thought about were nervous, excited, afraid, proud, scared, lonely, happy, calm, wiggly, shy, outgoing, courageous. So there's all kinds of words that you could put there. Um, I am actually going to use the word nervous, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Nervous because, and you're gonna write why you were feeling this way. So we started, when I started second grade, I was feeling, I wrote nervous. You will write whatever you were feeling when you started second grade. Now, why was I feeling nervous? Do you know why I was feeling nervous? Because I had just moved to a new school and didn't know P 
people. All right, I'm gonna have to adjust that. That's cool. Uh, I had just moved to a new school. I didn't know people. All right, so that tells you, whoops, I'm moving too far here. <laughs> Okay, there we go. All right, so when I was in second grade, I had just to move to a new school and it was in Oregon, Oregon, um, which is a really small town in Eastern Oregon where I'm from. So I was nervous because I had just moved to a new school. I didn't know people um, and uh, I, I was just nervous. So, but you're gonna be feeling however you feel, okay? Something you should know about Miss Doton is. So you're writing this. You're either in Miss Doton's class, you're in Miss Buckley's class, you're in Miss Weber and uh, Miss Weber's class, um, you're in Miss um, Fuerta's class. You could also write this if you're in Miss Buckley's or Miss Doton's class. You worked with me, Mr. Erickson. So you could write something you should know about Mr. Erickson if you wanted to. Um, in Miss Doton's class, Miss Anderson worked in there as well, so you could uh, write something about Miss Anderson. If you're in Miss Weber's class, um, Miss Palencia was your um, teacher as well this year, so you could write about her. I'm going to write something about Miss Doton. So, something you should know about Miss Doton is I think you remember this, or maybe you know, she makes really great bread for us. So sometimes <clears throat> um, when Miss Doton had our class meetings for the teacher, she would make us bread in her bread machine and it was really good. So that was something that I wrote about Miss Doton. I thought that was a nice thing to write about. But there's lots of things that you can write about. You might know something about one of the teachers. You might want to say, um, how they're kind, how they're helpful, um, anything like that. Just remember we're using complete sentences. That means capitalizing and punctuation. All right, so here's the next one. Um, my favorite, oh, my head's getting a little smaller here. My favorite activity in second grade is, okay, my favorite activity in second grade is, so I put a few things down here. Uh, free choice, recess, could be lunch bunch, could be quiet reading, learning about friends, morning circle, being kind to others, person of the week. There's lots of things that you do in your classrooms that are different activities during the week. So um, one of these things might be them. It might be something completely different. So you are going to choose which activity um, is your favorite in second grade. So my favorite activity in second grade is during um, morning circle learning about others. So that is my favorite activity in second grade. Is it your favorite? Maybe, but you might have a completely different favorite activity and you will write that there. All right, so I'm gonna move myself up here now. Okay, next question is, my favorite literacy unit is? Oh, we learned so much in literacy. What was your favorite literacy unit? What was the favorite thing you did in literacy? So I put some ideas down here. We did the author study of Kevin Hankey's. We did Bats and Birds. Um, we did the Robert Munch Reader's Theater. We did Black History, the biographies, that was really cool. Um, penguins, I know so many of you lo loved penguins. Uh, we did folk tales, fables, and legends. Um, we did a little bit of poetry, um, not a lot, because uh, due to school being out, there were some units that we didn't get a chance to get to. But uh, we did do a little bit of poetry, we learned about that. Um, 
It could also be something like, we did a lot of Native American read-alouds. Maybe that was your favorite um, literacy unit. That was social studies, but we were doing those read-alouds, you were responding, so that ties into literacy as well. So there's lots of different things you could write in here. So I am, whoop, there we go, I'm back. Gonna write, my favorite literacy unit is um, when we did the black history month biographies fees. there we go is that right biographies um, so that was my favorite literacy unit. I learned a lot about new people that I had never heard uh, learned about. Uh, I learned new things about all of them from the worksheets we did, from the research we did, from your reports and whatnot. So I thought that was a really fun uh, unit. So that was something I, my favorite literacy unit was when we did the Black History Month biographies. Love that. All right. Something new I learned in math is. Okay. So you'll see right here. I, this isn't everything we learned in math. Remember that. This is just a few things that we learned. So we learned three-digit addition, three-digit subtraction. We learned telling time. Uh, we learned a lot about shapes. Fractions is the last thing we've been learning about, which has been fun. Word problems, math mountains, comparison bars, charts and graphs. More on top. Don't even stop. More on the floor. Go next door and get 10 more. So one of those might be your favorite thing that you learned in math or something new that you learned in math. Um, and so you're going to write whichever one is your favorite. And it might not be one of those. There might be something else new that you learned in math that you want to write. So I'm going to write something new in I learned in math is um, math mountains. Oops, I'm going to expand that a little bit there is math mountains that helped me learn, that helped me, I'm gonna say solve word problems. Okay, so that was something new I learned in math. I actually hadn't, I before I started teaching second grade, I never knew about math mountains. So I thought that was really helpful and it helped me a lot, okay. So now the next couple sections that we're gonna do, the best memory I have about second grade is. So the best memory you have about second grade is what? What is your best memory? Okay, so I can't help you. I can't write any ideas down because it's your memory. I don't know what your best memory is, but I do know what my best memory is. So I'm gonna write that down. So right here, you might wanna take a minute and just think about what your, what your best memory is about second grade. Okay, so you're gonna write that. The best memory I have about second grade is, um, is when I get to learn new things about other students. Okay, oh, I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger so we can get that on one line, I hope. There we go, about new students. Okay, I also, I also, like seeing how much you grow up. Okay, so the best memory I have about second grade is when I get to learn new things about other students, um, learning about your guys' lives and getting to know you better over this past year has been my favorite thing. I feel like you're my own kids. I love you so much and I can't wait to see you again in the fall. And I have loved seeing how much you grow up, not only how much you grow in size, but how big your brain is getting and all the new things you've learned. So that's really special. All right, something I will miss about second grade is, 
something I will miss about second grade. So this is kind of a tough one because there's a lot of things that I will miss about second grade. But I think something I will miss about second grade is not being able to see all of my students every day. I've already been missing that, like I said above, like just that we don't get to see each other every day anymore and that, um, that's been really hard because I love seeing, I genuinely love seeing you guys every day. So I'm, I'm missing that already. And then you're gonna write your name, sincerely, your first and your last name. Okay, sincerely, Jason Erickson, that's me. All right, that is all you're gonna do for this. When you're done, um, if you can take a screen capture or post a picture of it in the Teams page in the reply area, that would be awesome. You could also email it to um, uh, one of us teachers if you wanted to, um, but let us know that how you did on this. We're looking forward to reading these and maybe passing some of these out to uh, second graders that are coming in next year so they can see um, how you were feeling and some of the great things that you learned about in second grade. All right, adios. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.